and returned with their support. So they start plotting. Marwan started getting people from different tribes. In the next scene, we will see why he wants to meet with these people. Show me your face. Tell me your name. Asam ibn Jubair. From which tribe? The Fat tribe. What do you know about Ali and his family? I know that they're the enemies of Amir and Ma'awi. Do you know the Bani Hashim? I only know the sound of golden coins. Did you know that Ali has been killed and Hassan ibn Ali has succeeded him? Yes, I do. Can you return to your tribe? Yes, I can. When can you go? Whenever you wish. Go to your tribe and prevent the heads of the tribe from assisting Hassan ibn Ali. Promise them on our behalf that anyone joining Amir Muawiyah will be awarded 1,000 gold coins in addition to the booty. Yes, Commander. You can go. But what did they ask for more? More? You can promise them for more. Honestly or falsely, it doesn't make a difference to them. No, that is true. We will pay. But be careful not to be too generous. A third will be paid in advance, a third when the war begins, and a third when the war ends. So. We will pay 300 Damascus coins every month. Are you satisfied? My life costs 10 coins. For 300, I will die and revive 30 times. <laughs> if they do not accept to uh, join us, at least encourage them to remain neutral. The main thing is they do not assist Hassan ibn Ali. The main thing is they do not assist Hassan ibn Ali. Leave early tomorrow. Sir. I will be back to speak to the rest. May the Amir be healthy. I do not know why, but I do not feel like you're addressing me when you call me Amir al Mu'minin. There is no truth in that name. Wait outside. Wait outside. <laughs> What's the news? We have received a messenger from Omar bin Harais. He has written that Shimar, Ashas, and Ibn Omer have declared obedience to the Amir. They have declared obedience to you. Those three cunning foxes. They set a conspiracy to assassinate me. They assassinated Ali. They forced Hassan Ibn Ali to open war against me. Now they sense war. They declare obedience. Honestly, no one knows what to do with these courageous. Oh, sadly, we're going to have to be some armor about this case. He's the only one who can handle this. I have made a couple of plans, if you allow me to show you. What plans? For the war. Which war? The war against, uh, against Hassan ibn Ali. And who says we are going to war against Hassan ibn Ali? We are not. No, great commander, Mawan Mithakam. Cousin, how many times do you want to repeat an experience? Were you not present in the Battle of Jamal? I was, Amir. What happened? 
Weren't you present in the Battle of Safin? I was, Amir. Um, what happened? You know better. We were defeated in the war. It ended up in judgment. No, that was the solution Amr ben Al and I thought up. The Harajites were deceived and Abu Talib's son was forced to accept. Am I right? Yes, sir. So it was not the war that saved us. If we would have fought, there would be no sign of any peace. Not you and not me. Am I right? Maybe, Am. Not maybe, certainly. Now, do you want to experience what has been experienced? But you are not dealing with Ali ibn Abi Talib right now. Hassan ibn Ali is the one standing before the Amir. Do you find any difference? Did you not see how he and his brother Hussein crossed swords in Safin? Which one of us is a match for them? Mughira, Zahak, you, me, that little double Amr bin Us? If he challenged you, would you accept? Yes, Amir. You are stupid. This is the same mistake that giant Amr bin Abdabad made, and his body was left on the field. The only reason Amr bin Nas and I are still alive is because we've never stood face to face with them. Marwan, you must accept this for our own survival. <laughs> Despite all of Amr bin Nas's meanness, conspiracy, and stupidness, He's right, in fact, that an extensive war is exactly what Hassan ibn Abi wants. Peace is what we should shout for, just as Amr bin As had suggested. <clears throat> you know what? Go take, the, uh, take, go take care of the army. Make sure everything is the way we want. Some in here and some in Madeira. They are every. Are they in contact with their spies? Yes. In Madain? Yes. In Ibn Abbas's army? Yes. Very well. Where are your looters? Some here, there, and everywhere. Are they in contact with you? Yes. Very well. Can we use them? Yes. Order them to kill whoever they find. Whom shall they kill? It doesn't matter who. They should kill whoever they find. But Commander, a spy and looter are only where who each other is. They might kill each other. The hell! Let them do so! The order is as I said. They should kill whoever they find. Amr, what kind of an order is this? Do you or do you not want to be the Of course I do. And the order is as I said. Nothing more, nothing less. I have given a bus handed to you. Me and hold this. Do as he says.
Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.